Okay. Uh, yeah, good afternoon, everyone. So we are Energy Mine, our project's called Energy Token, and it's designed to be a reward for incentivizing energy efficient behavior. So just before we, uh, we go into things, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a, a, an idea on what we do. We're an AI plus blockchain solution in the energy industry. Bit of a flavor uh, of what we do at the moment. So we are uh, based out of the UK. We have an existing business uh, in Manchester that trades electricity and manages it on behalf of corporate clients. So my background is I started off as an energy trader, so traded energy uh, in London and Germany for about uh, 12 years. Uh, bought and sold a uh, commodity brokerage, uh, exited that to start Energy Mine. Our, just to give you an idea as well of the co-founder, our co-founders, uh, our CTO is uh, ex-Google, a cybersecurity expert from ex-Google, and our COO is ex-App Store manager uh, at Nokia and Lenovo. So we've got a good blend of sort of the energy and, and technology sides. So Energy Mine as a project, we started in January. Um, we already booked about half a million dollars in revenue using our AI model, which is already deployed which uses AI to track energy markets and purchases automatically at, at times uh, when the market's lowest. We've got about 1,100 sites under management throughout Europe uh, and about $140 million worth of energy uh, that we trade at the moment. So that gives you a bit of an idea of uh, what we've done uh, to date on the AI side, and I want to speak to you a little bit about the uh, uh, energy token itself. First of all, a statistics which was staggering to me, really. In terms of electricity consumption, mining Bitcoin and Ethereum uses the same electricity as Nigeria on an annual basis, and that's already. So just from mining activities, we're at the same level as a country like Nigeria. And that's before really mass adoption and sort of mining on a larger scale takes place. So what Energy Token is designed to do is to reduce global electricity demand. That is, that is the number one target of this project. It's a $2 trillion market. And we feel to date that governments, although well-intentioned, have really failed to help us change behavior. What we find is that it's really hard to influence behavioral change. And the way that we address that is by incentivizing financially through a token. So we call it a sort of a, an ethical capitalism. So our view is that to influence behavior at the very start of a movement, you need to have a financial incentive. So something simple like if you're leaving a room, a hotel room, do you turn the lights off? Do you take the metro into work instead of your car? You know, some of you do, that's, and that's great. But unless there's a real driver behind that, it's very hard to sort of influence that change. So onto the sort of the token model itself. So what Energy Token does, it, as I said, it's designed to reward energy efficient behavior. So if you take the uh, bicycle to work, if you take public transportation, low carbon transportation, you're awarded energy tokens uh, for that act. Likewise, uh, if you're, if I skip ahead here, if you're purchasing energy efficient appliances, you'd also get awarded energy tokens. And the tokens are then kept within the ecosystem. So what, what can you do with the tokens? So what we're creating is your own energy balance, energy token balance. That will allow us, when combined with our AI models, it will allow us to track on an individual basis your personal energy and carbon footprint on this planet. So you'll, be, you'll get to a situation where you know the impact that your behavior is having on the economy, uh, on the energy economy. So that's the, the, the reward platform uh, is all based around that energy efficient behavior. The other example, the other uh, stream to the business is creating a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, trading network. So obviously our business is in energy trading at the moment. Just to highlight a bit of an example there, so on this side of the screen, the current system, this is the way that energy trading works at the moment. So you, your two neighbors, one of you has generation, solar panels and, and a battery. The other one has no generation. At the moment, we're in a situation where any excess energy is sold back to the energy supplier and then sold back to your neighbor at a, at a margin. It's absolute madness. When 
the two factories are next to each other and could be trading electricity with each other and both be a little bit better off on the price, cutting out that energy supplier uh, from the model. So those, those are the two platforms that we're building on. We're building the reward platform, energy token, uh, which incorporates the peer-to-peer the -peer, uh, trading platform. And given that we have uh, over 1,100 sites using our platform at the moment, we've got a very uh, willing uh, test bed for our clients. So some of the largest corporates uh, in the UK and Europe are already uh, trialing our software. And we're looking to expand at the moment. So we're primarily based in the UK and all over Europe. We're just about to sign a deal with the, the largest retailer of energy in the US. So one of the questions that I get asked most often is, you know, the regulation, the regulatory risk. You know, the energy markets are, are huge and are typically dominated by uh, a bunch of large players in the market. You know, we've been very careful in taking our time as we build this proposition. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a, a member of the House of Lords uh, as an advisor, who's an energy spokesman in the UK, whose uh, value, whose links to sort of regulators and the government will be invaluable for us as, as we build this proposition. So in terms of some user cases, some, we've uh, outlined uh, sort of the main eight user cases of this token. I won't go through them all, but just to give you an idea, if you imagine uh, you are doing a deal with a local transport authority, so typically a transport authority will spend millions of dollars upgrading infrastructure to deal with the influx of cars and car parking spaces in the city center. If that transport authority is awarding energy tokens every time you tap in your Metro card, uh, that is one of the cases that we are, are, are working on now. We have meetings with two of the biggest cities in the UK. Um, uh, to discuss how this scheme can work. And, and the great thing is a lot of the technology, a lot of the APIs, a lot of the data feeds are already there uh, to administer things like congestion charging, uh, parking uh, already. So the idea with the token is once you have your balance of the energy token, is you want to spend it within the ecosystem. So what can you do with the token? What can you do with your balance? So the idea is to keep the token within the ecosystem. So with your token, you can then use that token, your, that balance, to pay for your energy with your energy supplier, or you can use it to charge your electric vehicle. So that, hopefully that gives you a good idea. Uh, just sort of wrap up by telling you a little bit about our plan. So we, we published our white paper. We launched in, in, in Zurich on Friday. Uh, we're just about to uh, enter our pre-sale within the next few weeks. Um, and uh, we'd love to answer any questions you have. Thank you. Yeah, well. So we have time for just one question, if anyone has a question on our panel. Where, where are you seeing re regulation around sort of peer-to-peer -peer power plants and things are, are limited in a bunch of places? Texas and Australia seem to be the most, call it, um, deregulated. Where do you... <laughs> imagine scale coming from and yep. how big are I've always viewed the energy industry as a, as a massive one sure. but my view is it wasn't going to be disrupted from the outside yep. it was going to be disrupted from within the inside and, and my view is that businesses like yours in most of uh -huh. these markets would have to work with the incumbents um, uh, uh, to see radical change occur 100% agreed you know when we're looking at blockchain tech and the businesses here are, are trying to change industries we have to, for us, we have to look at the long-term picture. We have to involve the energy suppliers. It's very easy for us to say that, you know, we want all the big energy companies out and there's this whole revolution coming, but it will take time. So in the start, we've, we're already speaking to three state-owned energy suppliers in Europe, the biggest retailer of energy in the US, to trial our systems, to accept energy token, to part pay energy bills. The volume will come eventually when people get used to the concept of using energy token as a method to pay the bills, but 100% we have to work with the, with the existing infrastructure before we displace it. Yeah, so is there a place, a country, a jurisdiction where you imagine you're, you're gonna see meaningful scale, not proof of concepts? Yeah, absolutely. UK, Germany, Netherlands uh, being the most liquid power markets. Well, thank you so much. <laughs>